the Lord Jesus had said, there are some standing here that shall not taste of death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom, coming in his glory. And we read on and discover that these were, Peter, James, and John, they saw a little preview of the Son of Man coming in his glory. This is God's time machine. Peter, James, and John step into it, and suddenly they are swept through time, past the times of the Romans. The, the Roman eagle no longer flies over the city of Jerusalem. They move on into the Dark Ages, past our time in history, on into time, moving faster and faster until they come to that moment when the king will return in glory. And as the Lord Jesus was transfigured before them. The word of the Father was, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. I have the privilege of speaking most of the time to small gatherings of believers. And I come to little groups of Christians and they're discouraged. They're despondent. They've been plugging away and and nothing seems to work, and they're just about ready to give up. Well, I've got nothing to offer them but him. And so I stand there all week long, and all I do is point and say, there he is. Look at him. No, don't look at me. Look at him. No, don't look at yourself. No. And don't look at your brethren. Look at him. And I keep pointing to him. There he is. Look at him. Isn't he terrific? Isn't he wonderful? Isn't he all sufficient? Isn't he the king? And as I just keep pointing to him, you see the gathering of God's people just flourish under the ministry of Christ himself. And I believe that's what we need today. We need to see the king in his beauty. And the eye of faith allows us to do that. Oh, that we might get away from ourselves and get away from our things and our problems and just think for a little while about the King. There's a lot of noise in the world, a lot of distractions in the world, and the King still speaks in his still small voice, but the King wants you to enjoy an audience with him every day. Just because the door is always open to the king's palace, sometimes we walk by and peek in and just keep on walking. And I don't know how I do that. I don't know why I do that, but I do. And there the king sits, waiting for an audience with me. And the father says, Hear ye him. <laughs> 